there are countries where Christians live in fear, where churches are bombed and houses burned, where following Jesus means sacrificing jobs, security, family. There are countries where you must keep your faith secret or it might get you killed. These are the countries of the Open Doors World Watch List. And here are the 10 countries where following Jesus costs the most. Number 10, India. Many extremists claim that to be Indian is to be Hindu. They want an India without religious minorities and they are using violence to achieve it. Number 9, Iran. Iranian Christians must meet secretly. Being discovered could mean long sentences in appalling prisons. Number 8, Pakistan. Christians in Pakistan are considered second-class citizens. Innocent believers are falsely accused of blasphemy. Thousands of women are victims of kidnap and forced conversion. Number 7, Nigeria. Nigeria is the country where Christians face the most outright violence. Many Christians have been killed or driven from their homes. Number 6, Eritrea. More than 1,000 Christians are imprisoned for their faith in Eritrea. Some pastors have been locked up for over a decade without charge. Number 5, Yemen. Yemeni culture is tribal. Those who leave the tribal faith could be banished or even killed. Number 4, Libya. In this lawless land, Libyan Christians have to keep their faith secret or risk punishment, arrest or death. Number 3, Somalia. Islamist extremists consider Somali Christians high-value targets. So the tiny population of only a few hundred secret believers keep out of sight. Number 2, North Korea. There are around 400,000 Christians in North Korea. All of them must hide their faith. Discovery means exile, execution, or being worked to death in horrific labor camps. Number 1, Afghanistan. The Taliban takeover means that Afghanistan is the new number one, the most dangerous place in the world to be a Christian. Many Christians have become refugees. Those who remain must keep their faith utterly secret. There are countries where Christians live in fear, but fear can lead to courage and courage leads to hope. At least 360 million Christians around the world experience high levels of persecution and discrimination. But they have not given up. And for over 65 years, Open Doors has stood with them. Where Christians are persecuted, our global underground networks supply smuggled Bibles and Christian books, spiritual care, emergency food and aid, training and legal advice. Where Christians are free, we work with local churches to raise our voices in prayer to speak truth to those in power, to strengthen our persecuted family around the world. Because there are countries where Christians have to stay silent, and there are countries where Christians can make a noise. But we are all connected. We are all family. And together, we can help one another to follow Jesus, no matter the cost.